video. I can always edit it out. Hey, what are we doing today? Posey. No, well, just end it. That was terrible. I was lost for words. As to what I was actually mean. Are you still recording? You're still recording. I'll edit it out. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can get back going. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Tetanus Shop. And video. Hey, Dad. Hmm? What are we gonna do today? Stand here. Bask in the sun. No, guys, welcome back to another edition of Tetanus Shop where we are, yet again, hooked up to the trailer and going after another tractor. It's mine this time, not his. Tell them what it is, Jake. We are going to go rescue a 1955 Ford 660. Um, actually buying it from my stepdad. And this is going to be a huge thing for me, being able to run a bush hog, a small disc plow. Things like this for what me and my wife, Jessie, have is a pumpkin patch, um, along with a little bit of a farm. So we're just going to try to get that going, and this will be a huge thing for us. So guys, stay tuned. We're going to see if we can get this rig loaded up. So here is the rig. What year did you say, Jake? 55. 1955 Ford 660. 654, and this is a 55 model. So he's already flew right into it. We're just going to actually see if it'll start here on site. We're uh, taking one battery out, throw another one in. Um, what he's doing now, I'll go ahead and pop this dipstick, see what it tells us. Oh yeah, it's it's full and looks good. Um, like he said, this is our stepdad's or was our stepdad's tractor, um, and he'd actually changed the fluids on. Oh, oh, what you got? There's yellow jackets in that toolbox. I knew that the other day. Yellow jackets? Yeah. It's too warm for a jacket. I need the screw them dry. Okay, so, you know, just pretend that we didn't see that. We'll have to delete on those. But uh, we're going to go ahead and pop the battery out and pop another one in and see if we got some spark in the... Yeah. Also, Real King's not a sponsor, but you could be if you want to be. Could be. We can always use batteries. Batteries and Ford parts. So, uh, we're just going to, you know, dink around with it a little bit and... 
see if we can get it started if not we'll just winch it on the trailer and work on it when we get home so we got that option too what are you doing there was a burr on that terminal there and i was trying to... the whole cable's unhooked just get it just worry about it when you well i'm gonna go ahead and do that now it's it's extra sad because it's not even hooked up he wants me is the yellow jacket still at you where's the little fella i don't know i just i keep hearing him don't move too much and not too fast oh there he is he's behind me okay um and it's not a honeybee it's a yellow jacket i confirmed that the other day when he tried to get me yeah we'll just he he's buzzing you there he is there's two of them right there two of them mm -hmm. hmm. i have to go get some yellow jacket delete well that'll jump start him just gonna not mess around down Hmm. Guys, think about it. Huh. Jake? Yeah. I hate to tell you this. Yeah. But they think this is a lot of bull. <laughs> See, there's one thing in the ice cube juice box. Oh. Yeah, there's juice. There's green juice. Now, he said that this tractor was running. There, so well, as of what, a couple going, years ago? Yeah, that's why we're doing this. Because we have confidence that it's going to run. Uh, yeah, and why winch something when you can drive something? Exactly. Um, so, that's why we're going through this, because we're pretty certain that it's just going to fire up. Get out of here. I don't want you. Freeloader. You talking to me or the yellow jacket? The yellow jacket. Oh. It's look like a pretty good little little build up on them, but nothing that a file can't take care of. It's down in there. You can see it's pretty clean. <laughs> it looks down like there. it's been replaced on. Yeah. Very few things to make one of these old things run. Fire, fuel, and air. If you've got that, you've got a runner. Back to the battery cable. What? What the heck is that? That's what holds the battery. In. Oh. Okay. The battery's a little big for it, so. How is it any? Up. How is it any bigger than the one we took out? Oh, it is a little more narrow, ain't it? So if it does fire up, we'll. All right, battery's hooked up. Oil's checked. Oh, check this out, you guys. This is new for me too. That's neutral. And up and down neutral. Go up here. So this Ford, is our Ford. first Ford tractor. We've never had anything but a case or something of that nature. Contact. Contact. No fire. No fires. He said that didn't work. L I B. I'm if it wasn't because it has to be in neutral. If it's not, it's a safety switch. Gas. I think I'll turn the gas off. So, that guy's scary. Well, it's getting fuel. Like You'll just have to turn that over and let that drain out. We might have to pull that off. Hi, Hi, Hello. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a spark tester on it in between the spark plug wire and the spark plug and see if we even got spark now that he filed the points. Let's pull number one off. Two down. Did you kill another yellow jack? Yeah, I got it. All right, now you're going to watch that light bulb right there and see if that thing blinks. Jake, go ahead and... Has it gone an on-off switch, bud? Yeah, it's over there. Where's it's that? On. Oh, it's on? Okay, go ahead. We'll see if we got any fire. 
No fire. I'm gonna try flipping the switch the other way. Okay. Try again. No fire. I'm gonna try the center way. Okay. No fire. Okay. Okay, so we got no fire. Switch and see which way you got power coming out, so that way you know which way the switch is supposed to be. He go at the switch if you can. Having power. Um, I've got some wire up in the truck. We could run a jumper wire from the battery to the coil if you want to try it that way. Let me check the bypass switch all together. I got the cylinder. Check it. It's okay. I got juice here. I know this juice is going to be there. Oh, well, I think I may just figure it out. Really? Yeah. We got wire off. This wire is just rusted off. And that's the one coming off of the ballast resistor. It is? Yeah. Well, that's coming right off the hot side of the battery. Of course, that's going to have juice. And it's also rusted and corroded here. But that's just your starter solenoid. That wouldn't have anything to do with the points. But if it's sending the juice to that switch, though. That still don't have anything to do with the points. Well, kind of. Because this dusty is going to here and then this wire is going to the switch. Now, if the wire coming from the points runs up. But here's what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. It's making a full circle otherwise there's nothing hooked to the switch that's going to this solenoid. This is the only wire that's well, hooking to it. Right? No it's the one that's off of it that you got a hold of because the points come up right or from the coil I mean right up to the switch right here. And then from it comes into the ballast resistor. And then from the ballast resistor goes into that um, one that's off right there. Which that ballast resistor, Jake, where's that? Ain't no good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Um, <laughs> He's looking for me. I just want you to watch the spark cluster. In the wire? No, watch your, yeah, your bulb. Okay. Nothing. Turn the fire over here, though. Oh, boy. Come here, look at this. Excuse me. No, over here. Oh. I might have seen it from this side. Watch back in here. Oh. Yeah, it's melted all the wires. Yeah, it's on fire, kind of. Yeah. Well. Hmm. So the answer to today's question is no, it won't run today. <laughs> so it looks like we're winching it on the trailer. So I guess we just get our stuff cleaned up and that the sun's going down. One more attempt before we call it quits. We're going to run a jumper wire from the battery down to the coil. See if we can't get the fire that way.
where you had been in at least test it. Anything smoking yet? We should really have a fire extinguisher. thing is, as long as it's not, after you get done cranking, it won't be trying to melt anything back in there, so that's good. So actually, if we got it fired up, it'd be fine. I'm what we can do is burn it down. All right, and see if it'll happen, or if it'll happen, yeah. Probably way too much. I like it that way. I'm gonna take a spark tester out of it. Okay. It's a runner! <laughs> I don't know what to do about the gas situation. Turn it on. Yeah. Well, as long as it's burning it, though, we can turn it on. It okay, should be. Turn it back on. Try to. Hey, watch your. Whenever you're ready. I'll turn it on after it starts. Okay. Less than possible. And we're pulling gas again. Okay, I'll shut it back down. Okay, go ahead. We shouldn't need to eat Definitely need to get a coverage kit on the way. Open wide. I think the float's causing our trouble. Ain't gas no. pouring out now. Just turn it on a little bit. a little bit.
We didn't tell you guys you could have all them weeds. They don't go with the tractor. Okay, you can have those. <laughs> Tractor, bud. High five. That, uh, <laughs> yeah. that beats the tar out of winch in it. Well, that was a. I've never driven before. Before that's the first time. We've never owned one either. Yeah, first time. Um, that was what a. So will it run in 15 minutes? Your family did. We never have. Well, I just mean he had four trucks. Four truck ain't the same as four tractor. Dang. <laughs> so, guys, I guess it runs. So, well, we're gonna strap down and. Head this jewel home, and we got lots to work on. Yeah. It, it tries to burn itself down. It tries to flood itself out. It, all the essentials. But it runs. So let's get home and tear into this thing. <laughs> Well, it's a new night. I had a rain move in and had to quit on it. We're gonna get the thing unloaded now. See if it wants anything to do with it. Turn the gas on a little bit. Try it and see what happens. Oh yeah it does. It ran out of gas where it was on an incline. Give us more throttle. Huh? Mm -hmm. Jumper wire oh, stayed. Oh, okay. Here's jumper wire. Thanks, Let me shut the gas off till you're done. Got to smash the jumper wire back in the battery cable. It's definitely a rig. So we get this thing back in where it's supposed to be and or going to be and definitely get some wiring done to it, get a new switch put on it and new key switch and just redo some of the wire. Starter wire don't look no good. Just start going over the wiring. Start going over the rest of the tractor there a little bit and see what we got. Try again. Oh, 
Almost. Yeah. Pull the throttle down. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Ew. Let the smokeage. Oh yeah, we got armage. What about PTO? Oh, we got PTO. Shove in on your clutch. Probably good. Well, guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of Tetanus Shop. Uh, thanks for riding along with us while we get this little Ford back home. And uh, it's at home at the moment. Me and Dusty still got a lot of work to do as far as uh, wiring, carburetor issues, pull that apart. Um, so you think it would be nice for it not to flood itself? It'd be nice, maybe. Um, so guys, stay tuned with us. This one, this is not the last time you'll see this little tractor wheeler. Um, we'll have a video for for too long of us doing some wiring on it and getting it up in shape, and uh, maybe rebuild on the wheels and stuff a little bit. And by that, what do you mean? Well, one of my favorite people on YouTube is to watch is Vice Grip Garage, and to rebuild, you just simply. So, thanks, Derek, for showing us that. We appreciate that. We use that all the time. Um, so, guys, stick with us. Thanks for, for hanging out with us and watching our videos. And subscribe, hit like, ring that little bell. It helps us out a ton. Um, so if you guys could, uh, 
just hang in there with us. You know, it's something that we're we're trying to do and something that we enjoy doing, and um, we enjoy working on these old tractors and and uh, old cars. So, so guys, thanks for being there with us, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. God bless you. Thank you guys. <laughs>